Hi, Matthias here from Winsa.ai. Winsa.ai helps you to get your LinkedIn ads data from LinkedIn ads into your reporting stack. Your reporting stack can be a spreadsheet tool, a BI tool, or a database. Today, I'm going to show the most commonly used of the destinations. For all the other destinations, please refer to our documentation. Let's get started. First of all, you go to onboard.winsor.ai. There you head to the LinkedIn ad section, click grant LinkedIn access, which will take you to the authentication flow. Once successful, you get your, you get to choose which accounts you would like to connect. Then you're going to the preview and destination section. And here you get a quick preview of your data. And now we're starting with getting the data into the first destination. My first destination here is Lucas Studio. I'm installing, to get the data over, I'm installing the Windsor connector in Lucas Studio. Then here I just select my account. That's the one I've added just now. Click connect. And from here I can start building my report straight away. I can click on explore. Now I can see the data appearing. You can start switching or changing dimensions as you like, and then get to the report you want. Now, as a next destination, we would like to get the data into Power BI. To do so, I head back to Onboard. Then here I select Power BI Desktop. Now here you have to specify the fields before you push it into Power BI. So assuming for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to get these two rows of data over. I click the copy button here, head over to Power BI, click get data from web, paste the link, and now I have the data from my LinkedIn Ads account in Power BI. These are the two rows which we saw in the preview. Of course, if you'd like to add or remove metrics and dimensions, you have to go back to this page here and add or remove them to your liking. Up next, we have a quick look how we can get LinkedIn ads data into Google Sheets. For that, we will need to install the Windsor Google Sheets plugin. Then here, I build my query, I say, I want to get my LinkedIn ads data. I 
into the current sheet, which is sheet one. I would like to get data from LinkedIn. And then I have the same account. And here the same thing. I would then select the date range of, of the data, select the fields, and then click load data. So now I'm loading 30 days of data. I could also configure the schedule to run so that it would execute every hour. So I get fresh data continuously. Now, when I'm done configuring my data retrieval, I click load data and then the data will start appearing in Google Sheets. Here we are. Now, lastly, let's quickly have a look uh, in terms of data warehouse, database destinations. There, the export process works a bit differently. Say you would like to get your data into your BigQuery instance. What you do there is you create your destination task. You follow the instructions here, and then you select at what time of day you would like the data to be synced. Then you will have fresh data every day in your BigQuery. The same applies for AWS, Postgres, MySQL, Azure Blob Storage, Snowflake, as well as the Windsor Cloud Database. If you have any question, do reach out to us. We are happy to help. Thanks. Bye.